students, the student is a king. Oh, well, we met up in Tours. No. Actually, Tours. That's how they say oh, it in I'm France. Sorry. Tour. Tour. <laughs> My name is Patrick Watson. I am at the moment director of the Sir Arthur Lewis Institute of Social and Economic Studies. Well, I did quite a bit of my tertiary level education in France. I chose to study in France because I really love French and I've always imagined myself living that little European lifestyle. I was really enamored with the whole romantic idea of studying in continental Europe. Just the idea of Europe. I spoke to the cultural attaché at the time and he specifically mentioned to me um, about the school in Martinique. I went to France for a lot of reasons, but if I had to be honest, the real reason was just for the adventure. I chose to study in France because I just love the language and it was a dream for me to see Europe, to see France. And since I found out studies were free there, I just say why not? And I went to France. I am, I have no doubt in my mind that anybody who could afford to study in England, who could afford to study in the United States of America, could easily afford to study in, in France. Mom, you have a system where the government subsidizes education. You get help from the government to cover your tertiary expenses concerning books and that kind of thing. That's a major, major help. You no know, university fees. Uh, do not reflect the true cost of the uh, of the university uh, your university life, so it must have been subsidized, and so the French government was subsidizing non-French students. I would say roughly you'd pay something like three hundred euros, which is the equivalent of three thousand TT dollars just to basically register. That's for the school year. That's one thing I love about France. There's a reduction on everything for students. I remember in France, I'd go to the doctor every week if I had got a cold because it was so it was so cheap. I was able to find an apartment, a little student's apartment, which is not is only three minutes away from the um, university. And it's so great that we got the same apartment with Madame Maudouy. It's an old French granny. She's our mamie française. Yeah. So that means granny in French. And we sh she was in one bedroom and I was in the other bedroom. Uh, we had separate entrances and everything, so it was, you know, we didn't really interrupt Madame Modi's lifestyle, per se. Um, but that's how we basically became friends, by knocking each other's doors, you know. They offer good accommodation, close to the faculty, um, reasonably priced because they're often subsidies from the state. We, get, we pay a certain amount of money, we get back a certain amount of money from the French government, known as CAF. You're a student, it's always a little bit uh, slim pickings, but you, it's enough for you to get, back, get by and to continue your studies and get material, and these are the important things that you want. I actually still have a few tubes of paint knocking around that I've had since Martinique. So you think it's going to be all romantic and there are going to be men wearing berries and they're going to be painting and doing things like that. and. Uh, in the end, it wasn't like that at all. <laughs> you know, I found the interaction between, you know, the French culture, if you would, um, and my, me coming from Trinidad to be, you know, uh, seamless in a sense. You know, I didn't think there was any sort of, uh, there, was, there, was, there weren't much tensions, you know, people were quite open. I don't know if this was because I, I was in a Caribbean context. First impressions is like, wow, I am in Europe. <laughs> Me, a little islander in Europe. <laughs> wow, we. And I didn't, I mean, the very first night I landed in France, in Paris specifically, I did not sleep. I could not sleep. I was just taking, I was taking it all in and I was blown away by the sights, the sounds, the smells, the pizzas, the <laughs> eggs on the, the pizza. eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the fresh eggs on the pizzas and everything. Yeah, they just come on pop. Fresh egg on your yeah. pizza and say voila. Yeah, voila so, yeah. University life is really different. When I went, I was like, this big old building. <laughs> and uh, it was very complicated and I felt like I'd get lost. And I didn't feel like I'd make friends very easily. I was a bit scared in the beginning. But uh, that passed pretty quickly. 
fantastic. You know, it was like a freedom mm-hmm. that you 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 never you've never seen that type of freedom and liberty to dress how you want. For me, fashion was a university. I ended up joining a dance group and doing Brazilian samba and cabaret shows and I think French people um, yeah. accept you for who you are. Exactly. If you'd like to study in France, the first thing you must do is contact the French embassy, the education officer, who would guide you, tell you what schools you should contact and what you should study. The next step is to contact the Alliance Française, because we have specialized teachers preparing you for the exam and also preparing you for life in France. Mondes et billets de rigueur, intrigues enflammées. Comme si l'on pleuvait. Devant ma porte, prétendants et jeunes premiers. Comme si l'on pleuvait. Nuées de diamants, poèmes posés sur mon. One thing for sure, you have to want to make an effort in the French language. When I got to Martinique, I realized that, wow, I don't know French, you know. <laughs> I mean, the first, what, the very first semester was a bit challenging for a some. Bit? Oh, for hard. some, it was a bit challenging. You imagine a professor chopping in French exactly. in economics. Your very first lecture. Because I cried a lot because I was unable to understand, you know, when the professors are speaking in, you know, fluent French. And if you're not comfortable with your level of French, you can do an orientation here in which they prepare you for your university life. And when you get there, interact with French people listen to French music, look at French television, and absorb it. And when somebody says, you can, vous pouvez me, me tutoyer, you feel that's something, you've reached a barrier. And yeah. they, when they give you the bisou, like yeah. the bisou like this, mm-hmm. 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 that's good. Yeah. And they give you four, like this, they love you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a good reputation. We have as Trinidadians, I think, in France. They know we work very hard, mm. and they know that we will get where we're going. You know what I mean? Irregardless of that language barrier. We were topping the class after a while. Yes. You know, so. If you already have a bachelor's degree and you don't know French, you can still go to France and you can do your master's in English. The level of education and the, the qualifications are recognized and respected in all parts of the world, including Trinidad and Tobago. And you now have credits, so it's comparable to other parts of the world like the United States. I did a Master Professionnel, which is basically a professional master's that doesn't exist in the English system. How you can study almost anything that you want to study. You can study architecture, you can study medicine, even cosmetology, so keep your options open. And uh, now I'm studying translation and conference interpretation. I ended up doing three degrees. I did um, video, I did photography, I did engraving, sculpture, um, screen printing, you know, so you left there with quite a, a nice base. I uh, definitely have expanded my horizon so much. I've been to Paris, it is very beautiful. I've been to the Eiffel Tower. Um, and then I was able to go to Belgium, which is also very, very beautiful. Tour was nice. Tour, I must say, has become my home away from home. Mm. I've been to Spain, England, Germany, Switzerland. We wow. lived in Spain. The sky She was limit. in, where were you? I was in Alicante. And I, I was in Granada, in Spain, in the south. Mm. And that was because of our degree. Yeah. Because it is compulsory to do an internship in a foreign country, which was a very, very great opportunity. From one country to the next with a lot of, with a lot of visa. I myself went to Germany, to, to, to Britain. What I like about France is that you have so many opportunities there. Anyone can study in France, there's no age limit. I have gone to the Council of Europe in my training as an interpreter and I've been able to sit there next to professional interpreters and watch them work at this big European forum, Little Trinidad and me. You know, it was also very good for me as an artist, though, I must say, because it, 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 I had to pull from my inner resources, you know, um, from who I really was. And this is, this is what I really wanted to do. This wasn't any play around. This is the real thing, you know. If a student should want to study in France, I would encourage him or her a lot. I would uh, definitely recommend going to France for any student. 
I think uh, it's a great place to study. I mean, prepare yourself, it's gonna be the biggest ride of your life. I gained um, being a lot more open-minded to differences, to different cultures. Studying in France has really formed me as an individual. I mean, you learned tolerance because you met people from all over the world. You learn how to work with different people. Um, you learn how to be on your own, to be independent. And it has helped me a lot in doing my job right now. Yes, studying in France has given me an extra edge in that Trinidad more and more is opening its doors to the outer world. Um, globalization is taking place and we are welcoming a lot of foreign companies, French speaking and Spanish speaking companies alike in Trinidad. And I mean, having these languages, having the ability to speak a foreign language, not only, um, not only having your, your business background as well, but knowing a foreign language proved to be a great, great asset. And French definitely proved to be a great asset in my case. Well, I'm planning to stay in France for three years to finish my bachelor degree. Definitely, I'm, I'm definitely ready to go back for a second year because I love it, actually. I'm still studying. I've done a postgraduate diploma and I will hopefully have my master's in June next year. I currently work at the Alliance Française, the cultural arm of the French Embassy. I am the events coordinator. It's a very fun job because I get to use my French and I also get to plan very fun events. I started working at the Embassy of Spain at the end of November 2006 to the present. I am the international marketing manager. Um, I develop the brand in other countries, exactly what I've studied. And I would say that it degree really helped me because I am now manager of the other managers. And it's in doing a degree that was so uh, in-depth in, in, in professionalism and world of work and understanding. I trained with professionals. So I have done so much, I've gone so far, and I've learned so much and sacrificed so much for this degree that I'm about to get. I intend to get a really good job as a conference interpreter in a big international organization. There was really a memorable experience. C'est l'Oise qui coule la mie, pas le Danube ni le Mississippi. Si c'est Sergi, Sergi, 